What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Quentin. You know, currently we're at the Vatican City. Now, I'm not even going to talk about the Vatican City because y'all know about the Vatican City, right? If not, go look it up. It's the smallest country in the world. But we're at this place right now, and this thing is just like crazy looking. Like, not in a bad way, in a good way. Check this out. Man, that thing is crazy. You know, I got to turn the camera for the one time. Yo, this place looks awesome yo i'm not even joking i am so glad i'm vlogging right now because this this is something that you're going to remember for the rest of your life we're in vatican city smallest country in the world don't tell me my god can't take me places y'all this isn't a testimony that god can literally use anybody y'all literally when i was 18 2021 i was sitting at home doing nothing with my life youtube using my sister for views all this stuff the youtube actually fell off i started doing nothing i started working on this like mixtape or something right something like that like it was an album that i was going to work on and then the lord came to me and i was in california and he came and he pretty much convicted me next thing you know i've been to so this is literally my third third country united states guatemala and then uh vatican city or no no vatican city and rome or italy right so technically that's four countries and i've been to mexico too so that's five countries y'all and the lord has just been using me on mission so many cities not only that you know, he's blessing my Instagram, TikTok, all this stuff. And it's just going to get so much bigger and bigger and bigger. My friend literally, uh, my brother in Christ, Gideon, literally said he had a dream where my hair was super, like a super long afro. And he said it grew back really fast. Doesn't that kind of sound like the word that I told you that, guys that the Lord gave me? How he's going to accelerate me faster than my hair can grow back? I'm telling y'all. So he said it grew back really fast. So I, the, over this next year, the Lord is just going to be accelerating and accelerating. It's going to be awesome. Vatican City, y'all. Literally, I remember I found out about this place a few months ago. Little did I know, a few months later, I'm going to be standing right here at Vatican City. Jesus will use anybody. You just got to be willing and obedient. You will eat the good of the land. He will use anybody, y'all. And I'm so glad I get to vlog as long as I want to without having to worry about a time limit. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> So they're on this 21 day fast right now. They can't eat. So he's just staring at me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. New York's better than this one. Oh. Huh? It's a coffee shop. Oh, it's a coffee shop. That's not the real thing. You cannot tell me this doesn't look powerful. They even hit it with the fork. We're going up this like church or whatever. And this thing got slanted. This is crazy. That bag dope though. Y'all, we are so high up. You can't really see because of the gate. But we're high. It's getting slanted. It's kind of kind of weird. Y'all, we are so high up. This is the Vatican City. By the way, this is the next day, y'all. So that's kind of funny. But look at this view. This thing looks incredible. Dang. Y'all rocking with it? Hold on. You can't tell me you're not messing with the longer vlogs. Y'all know this has to be on a different level, especially that. So y'all, we're really at the Coliseum right now, and it's just you know it's amazing that the Lord's using me like this. Y'all, I really let me let me let's get deep for a little bit, y'all. I really like vlogging because I could sit here and I could really talk to y'all one on one. I could tell y'all all about my feelings, all about the way that I'm feeling, all about all this stuff. I feel the anointing as I'm talking right now, and I could sit here and tell you guys exactly what's going on. Y'all, for whatever reason in my mind, I've just been, my mind's been going through some battles right now. And I'm going to talk about the Colosseum and what God's doing in a little bit, but my mind's been going through some stuff and I feel like I'm not praying enough, I'm not reading enough. I just feel very, very, um, I guess I feel, and I'm saying all this with no complaining, but I do feel a little bit tired. Physically, mentally, 
because um, what's going on is like when you fight that flesh and you fight uh, the, the spirits that try to attack you for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of darkness, right? When you wrestle against these things, I guess after a while it gets a little tiring. So you got to refresh yourself with the word of God. You have to refresh yourself in the spirit by praying. And that's the daily thing that you need to be doing a lot. So when you don't do that, which is me and I'm not doing it enough, I tend to get very tired because I'm doing it on my own strength. That's why you need a rest in God. So I guess this, this Rome trip has been teaching me some stuff. It's been showing me that um, you can get anything that you want in life. Like the Lord is blessing me with so much Rome, all this stuff. And I'm so, I am grateful. I really am grateful. But um, at the end of the day, the thing that matters the most is their intimate relationship with God. So I say this unto y'all because I really want y'all to know that I, I take my relationship with God seriously and I, I need to start praying more. And I can say that, be transparent, because as the Bible says, we need to confess our faults one to another, right? In the book of James. So I confess this to y'all. I say I'm not praying enough, not even nearly. So that being said, you know, it's such a blessing to be here at the Coliseum. And it's an amazing experience. This is something that many, many, many people have probably wished that they can do and they've never done. And I'm here over here, 20 years old at the Coliseum, I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ just because God is so good on a mission trip. Well, I'm not, I'm not preaching here, but you know, because it's a mission trip. So it's the Lord that brought me here and he raised all the money for me and so much more. I'm eating good food and all this stuff. It's nothing to complain about in life. It really shows you that if you don't have a relationship with God, there's really no meaning to life. I, I don't understand how I even used to function without God. So empty without God. So when you're not getting enough of the Holy Spirit, refreshing your spirit, then it's just, it kind of gets kind of, life gets kind of dull. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that to be sad. I'm saying that to show y'all the importance of renewing your mind with the word of God and really focusing on your on fire relationship with the Lord. So I say all these things and I'm going to make adjustments. I am going to make adjustments because um, I'm not going to sit down and um, not pray. I got to get refreshed. I think I'm like, when I get back to New York, I'm going to like a two day retreat to a hotel because the Lord prophesied to me uh, a couple months back that I needed to go on a two day retreat. I guess I procrastinated it. I need to go on a two day retreat just to figure out, okay, what am I going to do this year? What's the, what's the goal this year? What's going to be my purpose this year? What does the Lord want me to do this year? Because I believe that um, I'm going to be getting launched from ministry soon because I've been doing it for about a year and four months. And when I get launched, um, I believe that I'm going to go into business because the Lord prophesied that also that I'm going to be a very successful businessman. And I have this whole thing. If you guys actually go back to my first video, you see, God, you see that I have a, a business called Pan Cheese. I kind of put it on hold because it's not the proper time. But I, when I restart that thing, it's going to be really good. Obviously, I'm going to take social media 100% seriously. I'm really just going to go crazy on um, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twi uh, not Twitter, uh, TikTok, Instagram. Those are going to be my two main ones. And no, even YouTube. That might be end up by the end of the year being one of, one of my main ones for real. Because I really want to get a whole bunch of, you know, um, I want to get a whole, bunch, a whole bunch of activity and, um, you know, really want to make an impact because this is where I can have a one-on-one -on -one with a lot of people you know it's it, I can preach you know the word of God let me let me say this the word of God is the most important thing on the face of the earth 100 percent right so I could preach and that's such an amazing thing to preach and the interview and the soul win on Instagram and stuff like that sun got out but it's also good that I can have you know on a one-on-one -on -one. not that the one-on-one -on -one is more important it's not the preaching is one more important any day of the week but it's good to have a one-on-one -on -one with people just so I could talk, just so I could relate, just so you know that, oh, I am a minister. I am 20, young. Yeah, I have been to so many states. I have been to so many cities. I am popular. I am this. I am that. But it doesn't um, mean anything. I'm still a human being, and I'm still, you know, I'm still relatable. So this is like a Christian blogger, you know. And let's not get religious. I used to watch DDG back in the world, but... I guess this is kind of like, you know, from a Christian point of view, for Christians and even unbelievers and everyone that wants to watch, really, you guys see. So, yeah. I'm going to show y'all this view. It's amazing that the Lord blessed me with this. You know, to be at the Coliseum, to bless me with the money, all this stuff, as y'all can see in the background. I'm so glad that I'm vlogging, so I always have this, you know what I mean? And, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this vlog.
we're gonna keep these long vlogs going y'all because it's, it's so much easier i could talk to the camera i don't even think i'm gonna have to even edit this clip one time i might i'm not saying i won't but you know it's really cool to just be able to talk to y'all you see this is what i just did with y'all would be a lot harder to do on a five minute video I would have to be like, yeah, and then this, 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 this. I would have to speak faster, but I could have a one-on-one -on -one -on -one heartfelt moment with y'all without having to worry too much about it. But without talking any further, let me show y'all this view. So as y'all can see down there, I don't know what that necessarily is. I don't know if they used to do races and stuff, but look at all this, you know. So I think you can still see some of the stairs somewhere. I don't know where they are. Oh yeah, right there. You see? I don't know if that used to be a spot where people sat. I'm not 100% sure what all this uh, rubble stuff is, but as y'all can see, it's a beautiful view. It's a beautiful view. A lot of it's decaying. But y'all, this is the Colosseum that has been here since 80 AD. Of course, they had to add some stuff in. You could kind of see some brick that they added. Because they had to add some brick like that so it could be able to obviously stand. But all these like big pillar stuff like you see up there, that stuff I believe has been here since 80 AD. That's like. <laughs> that's like a little bit after the bible was like completely written i think 80 ad was before the book of revelation was written that's how early that was so this is really cool y'all it's an amazing experience oh i'm so glad i'm vlogging so i could look back at this in two years and be like wow i vlogged that i'm gonna be much 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 what's the word i'm looking for much more known then but y'all it's such a blessing to be here. I, I, I don't know, I'm just, as I'm speaking, I literally feel, hold on y'all. As I'm speaking, I literally feel gratefulness falling upon me because I'm not even gonna sit here and joke. My flesh was uh, kind of dying because of the cold weather, right? And I'm like, man, I was sticking in my mind a little bit. I'm like, man, it's cold out here. My flesh was dying, but I'm like sitting here now, no matter how cold it is, man, this is such a wonderful experience to sit down and just be able to look at the Coliseum. We're not even doing we're not even doing mission work. We're literally here just chilling. So to be here at the Coliseum is such an amazing experience. There's literally nothing to complain about. So Father God, forgive me if I complain. In Jesus' name, forgive me for complaining. It's always weird whenever I repent on camera, but you know, it's okay. But um, yeah, always guys remember, have a humble heart with everything. The Bible says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is why I'm not a hip fan at all when human beings go and try to condemn somebody. When I saw people condemning people for mistakes or something like that, I'm not a fan of that. It makes it very clear that whatever you confess and you truly repent of it, you will be forgiven. The issue is when you can't repent, I got on this little tan tangent, you know that you can't necessarily, it, it becomes an unforgivable thing when you're not able to repent of it. That's when the issue comes in. Repent, remember, means to change your mind. Some people will say it means to turn away from your sins. The Bible says that the Lord repented. It says it all throughout the Old Testament. So obviously the Lord's not turning away from sin. He's sinless. So even if you look at the Greek definition and stuff like that, it, it, it means to change your mind. But remember, you could always change your mind. The Holy Spirit's the one that leads you to change your mind about something and to go the other way. So that's what it is, y'all. But man, I want to keep vlogging. I want to keep vlogging. Oh, I want to keep vlogging so bad. This is so fun. Oh, this is so fun. Maybe I'll start up a new one. But y'all, if you guys like the video, I want you guys to subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Uh, Road to 100. We're going to keep going and going and going until we hit that 100. This is my second vlog in Rome. It's powerful. Um, also, y'all, I'm going to do a sinner's prayer. I feel like the Lord is prompting me to do that. The Bible says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And if you don't know for a fact, God forbid, if today were your last day on earth, if you inherit eternal life. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you do want to accept the free gift God has for your life today, repeat this prayer. But you have to truly believe it in your heart and just say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died for me and you rose again. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you repeated that prayer, I want y'all to comment down below. Amen in the comment section. Also remember, the Bible says that if we walk in a light as he is in a light, we have fellowship one with another in the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Go read the description. All the verses that I put there, those are great verses if you're a new believer. Remember that when you truly follow God, you're not saved through your works. We're saved through grace, through faith. But when you have true faith in somebody, the result is, right? 
for example, I have faith that the Coliseum right here is gonna hold me up, right? So I walk in the Coliseum, I have a good time without even thinking about it. When you put your faith in Jesus, you follow him without even thinking, it's a result. You walk in the light as a result of following the light. I hope that makes sense. And the light is love. Love, go read First uh, Corinthians chapter 13. Go read the book of John. Go read all these things so you guys can understand the character of God. And it's just literally keeping his commandments. That is how true faith is proven right it's not two separate things it's not like um you have faith but then you have works that are add, add on no literally works and faith are literally parallel with each other you cannot have true faith without having an action um noah would not have noah wouldn't wouldn't have true faith if he didn't build the ark if he had the uh if the lord spoke to him and said build the ark and he was just oh i believe it that's not true faith true faith was him taking the action and building the ark that in faith that God was actually going to flood the earth. That's true faith right there. So I hope that makes sense to y'all. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. This video is going to be super long, I believe. But I'm so excited because, you know, no limits. 20-minute vlogs and stuff coming soon. In Jesus' name.